It's coming in, it will pass behind the sun in October. James Webb is observing it right now, or just a couple of days ago was observing it. The James Webb Space Telescope spotted a large object about 10 light years away moving toward Earth. On July 1st, 2025, telescopes spotted a colossal interstellar object, 3i Atlas, racing through our solar system at 13,000 miles per hour. What's Something strange has just been discovered in the far reaches of our solar system, something that shouldn't exist, something that has scientists staring at their data in disbelief. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye into the cosmos, has detected signs that a mysterious interstellar object named 3i Atlas is not just another frozen rock drifting through space, but possibly alive. Yes, alive. Not in the way we think of life here on Earth, but something far more alien, ancient, and utterly beyond our understanding. What the telescope has seen and what scientists are now whispering behind closed doors could rewrite everything we know about biology, physics, and the origins of life itself. So what exactly did James Webb find? Why are experts terrified to even discuss it publicly? And could this be the first undeniable proof of life beyond Earth? Let's uncover the chilling truth behind 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor that refuses to die, the arrival of 3i Atlas. In early 2024, Astronomers detected a faint, fast-moving object entering the solar system. Its trajectory revealed something shocking. It didn't originate from our sun. It came from interstellar space, making it only the third known interstellar object to ever enter our system after Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. They named it 3i Atlas, discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS. But unlike the previous two, this one was different. It appeared larger, denser, and far more erratic in its motion. Initial scans showed that it didn't simply follow gravitational pull. It seemed to adjust its course slightly, almost as if it was responding to something. At first, researchers dismissed these tiny movements as observational errors. But the data kept coming back the same. Every time 3i Atlas passed near a gravitational field, a planet, or even the solar wind, its path would subtly correct, like a pilot making micro-adjustments mid-flight. Something about it felt intentional. When James Webb looked closer. When the James Webb Space Telescope was directed toward 3i Atlas, no one expected anything unusual. It was supposed to be a quick scan, a few infrared readings, perhaps a composition analysis, but what Webb saw changed everything. The telescope's sensors picked up unusual infrared emissions coming from the object, not consistent with sunlight reflecting off ice or dust. These were structured pulses, repeating in complex, non-random patterns. The emissions seemed to modulate themselves, like a heartbeat. Even more disturbing, the readings showed temperature fluctuations that synchronized with the light pulses. It was as if some internal process a metabolism or energy regulation system was happening inside the object. Webb's data showed that parts of the surface would heat and cool rhythmically as though something beneath was active, moving, perhaps even breathing. The living. Comet theory. The term living comet began circulating among researchers, quietly and unofficially. 3i Atlas didn't behave like a normal rock. Instead of disintegrating as it neared the sun, it seemed to heal itself. Its outer layers cracked under solar radiation, yet within days, those cracks vanished. Spectral analysis revealed organic compounds, complex carbon chains, nitrogen, and phosphorus, all essential ingredients of life. But that wasn't the shocking part. Those molecules were rearranging themselves, the Webb telescope caught sequences of molecular restructuring, almost as if the object was repairing damage or adapting to its new environment. It wasn't alive in a biological sense, not with cells or DNA, but it exhibited behavior so close to biological function that the distinction began to blur. Scientists called it active self-regulation, but everyone else began whispering a different word, consciousness. 
the whisper in the data, a small group of astrophysicists decided to take a closer look at those infrared pulses. When they charted the intervals between each emission, something terrifying appeared, a pattern strikingly similar to binary code. It wasn't random. It wasn't natural. The emissions repeated in timed sequences that mirrored logical intervals, on-off, high-low, a structure not found in known natural phenomena. When decoded crudely, parts of the signal aligned with prime number sequences, the universal mathematical pattern often considered a sign of intelligence. That's when panic set in. If these readings were accurate, it meant 3i Atlas wasn't just reacting to its surroundings, it was communicating. The energy anomaly. Even more confusing was how it sustained itself. Normally, interstellar objects lose energy rapidly when exposed to the solar wind. But Webb's readings showed 3i Atlas was absorbing radiation, converting sunlight, cosmic rays, and even charged particles into stable internal energy. It seemed to be feeding off the sun, and the closer it came to the inner solar system, the stronger those emissions became. Some astronomers speculated that it was entering a state of activation, as though our star had awakened it from dormancy. If true, that meant 3i Atlas might not be drifting aimlessly. It might have come here for a reason. Hidden Origins Tracing its trajectory backward, scientists calculated its possible origin, somewhere near the Lyra constellation, roughly 25 light-years away. That region contains several ancient star systems, some long collapsed into white dwarfs. If 3i Atlas had truly come from there, it could be millions of years old, an ancient traveler crossing interstellar distances. But how does something made of ice and dust survive such an impossible journey intact? One theory emerged that chilled even the most skeptical minds. 3i Atlas is not a natural object at all. It could be a biomechanical entity, something built or evolved to traverse the void, a hybrid of biology and material, designed to survive in total darkness, feeding on starlight, and perhaps observing civilizations like ours. The disturbing acceleration. As it neared Mars's orbit, astronomers detected a subtle but undeniable increase in velocity, far beyond what solar radiation could cause. It began accelerating against gravitational forces. When probes attempted to scan it with radar, the object responded. The next infrared pulse directly matched the timing of the radar signal. It was as if it had heard us. For a few days, it maintained this back-and-forth rhythm, mirroring frequencies sent from Earth. Then suddenly, it stopped. Silence. After that, 3i Atlas changed course, slightly but deliberately. Instead of heading out of the solar system, it began an arc that would bring it closer to Earth's orbital path. That's when the whispers turned into fear, the signal blackout days. After that maneuver, several observatories reported unexplained interference whenever they pointed toward 3i Atlas. Instruments malfunctioned, data streams froze, and communications cut off mid-transmission. Even the Webb telescope briefly lost connection with its relay during a scheduled scan, an event NASA described as a routine system reset. But insiders claim the data during that blackout window was locked, inaccessible even to senior scientists. Rumors suggest that Webb captured something in those few moments, an image or reading so extraordinary that it was classified immediately. Unofficial leaks describe a structure visible on the object's surface, symmetrical ridges, evenly spaced formations, almost like panels or veins. Not random, not natural. Is it watching us? When 3i Atlas stabilized near the inner asteroid belt, its emissions dropped to nearly zero, as if it had gone dormant again. But one strange thing continued. The object began reflecting radio signals from Earth back at unpredictable intervals. These reflections were faint, but delayed, as if something was processing the signal before returning it. Imagine shouting into a cave and hearing your voice echo back, but slightly rearranged, distorted, delayed. That's what was happening, except this cave was hundreds of millions of kilometers away. If 3i Atlas truly is alive or intelligently controlled, it might be observing us right now, studying how we respond. The Living Machine Hypothesis 
Some biophysicists now believe 3 i atlas could represent a form of life that evolved without DNA, without cells, without water, a plasma-based organism made of conductive materials that thrive in space, absorbing electromagnetic energy instead of oxygen. Its body could be a lattice of minerals and organics, both alive and metallic. Over time, it might have learned to navigate gravitational fields, using them like ocean currents. If that's true, then 3i Atlas isn't just a visitor, it's part of a species, one that moves between stars, feeding on radiation, observing civilizations that emit signals, like ours. Perhaps it detected Earth decades ago, our radio chatter calling out across the void, and changed its trajectory to find the source. Now it's here, and waiting. Why scientists are terrified. The reason scientists are hesitant to discuss 3i Atlas publicly isn't just because of its strange data, it's because it challenges everything about what life means. If a being can exist without oxygen, without biology, powered by light and magnetism, then life could exist everywhere. And if one such entity found us, there might be others watching, waiting, evaluating whether we're worth approaching or avoiding. The question haunting researchers isn't, what is it, anymore? It's, why is it here now? Every civilization that looks up wonders if something else is looking back. And with 3 I Atlas, for the first time, that feeling isn't metaphorical. It might literally be true. The unofficial statement. According to insiders, a private briefing was held at a major space agency, where scientists presented the latest web readings. The data showed an eerie truth. 3 I Atlas had begun emitting signals at a new frequency, directly within the radio band used by Earth satellites. Not powerful enough to interfere, but just enough to be noticed. It's as if it's saying, I hear you. After that, agencies reportedly imposed restrictions on data sharing, labeling the object's real-time monitoring as sensitive. But the silence from official channels only makes one thing clear. Whatever 3i Atlas is, the world isn't ready for the answer. What comes next? 3i Atlas is now drifting quietly near the orbit of Mars, not leaving, not approaching, just waiting. Its pulse continues faintly, irregularly, almost like a heartbeat fading into the distance. But Webb continues to watch. Every day, a small group of scientists check for signs of change, for any hint that it might move again. And each time they stare at that data, one question remains. If this thing is alive, what does it want from us? Whether 3i Atlas is a natural wonder or a living machine from another world, one truth is undeniable. It has already changed how we see the universe. Because if something like this can cross the stars and find us, then we are not the first and we will not be the last. The universe is not silent, it's alive and now, it's looking back.